Whatever happens, my dear brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. I never get tired of telling you these things. And I do it to safeguard your faith. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have discarded everything else. Counting it as all as garbage so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I've become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death so that one way or another, I will experience the resurrection from the dead. I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfect perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focused on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. Let all who are spiritually mature agree on these things. If you disagree on some point I believe God will make it plain to you but we must hold on to the progress we have already made dear brothers and sisters pattern your lives after mine and learn from those who follow our example for I've told you often before and I say it again with tears in my eyes that there are many of those whose conduct shows they are really enemies of the cross of Christ They are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. They brag about shameful things and they think only about this life here on earth. But we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus Christ lives. And we are eagerly waiting for him to return as our savior. He will take our weak mortal bodies and change them to glorious bodies like his own. Using the same power with which he will bring everything under his control. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stay true to the Lord. I love you and long to see you, dear friends, for you are my joy and crown I receive for my work. Be blessed today.